<laughs> Not until we um, get our permits and wash our hands. So. One of our evening Mac. Hello, Wendy. <clears throat> Jeff, are you guys getting a storm up there in Lebanon? Let's just go live. Let's just let's just do this. Hello, Teresa. Hello, Tony. Good evening, Central Indiana. Welcome to Porch Time Live from JTH Construction Studio. What's up, PJ? Hello, Karma. Where it is just me spreading facts we have lots to talk about as i write down notes hello mike hello becky what's up rich joe clendenna how you doing all right real quick before we get into the fun stuff Sponsors. Let's talk about our sponsors. We are live at JTH Construction Studio, of course. American Basement Solutions, Larry Ralph Sr., 1-877-409-2837. <clears throat> Those are good folks. You need any work done, Kristen? I'm going to get to you in a minute. When are the fireworks? <laughs> Hang on. Let me, let me get through sponsors. I'm not talking about bingo at Forky's or 4th of July fireworks yet until we get to that. Fathom Real Estate, Teresa Messer, 765 341 8911. Drink the Greek Cedar Creek right now going on live is the boys' bands out there. I believe they're still going. Next weekend, there's no Cedar Creek because Trace is in town, and we'll get to that in a minute. Bland and Boys Lawn, Lawn Care, 765 315 9656. Findhelp.org, that is Judge Williams' group. Get on there and look around. Wayman's Furniture Appliance Mattress, they have sales going on all the time and they need help. Great family, I've met them. Great guy, I'm telling you, you're messing up. Don't go out of town to buy that stuff. Go there first and see if they can match a price or beat a price. Tell them you heard the ad on porch time. Who knows? Give them the benefit of the doubt. They've been here forever. Wellsprings, hello, Eric. Taking care of the homeless, 765-346-6661. That's a lot of sixes in a row there. Stids Comfort Air Systems. Stids Comfort Systems, I'm sorry. 765-346-0195. And I'm turn that down because I'm feeling a little heated. I'm feeling a little heated tonight. I can feel it come. Oh, I better not sing, although cut me off like they did earlier today. And of course, who's your web nerd? 317-640-4398. Jerry Vest, hello, what's up, buddy? Marilyn Pierce, hello, dear. All right, let's 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 just get into the meat of the subject tonight. A, when are the fireworks? I think they're on the 4th. I think trick-or-treat's on Halloween. I don't know yet what's going on with Forky. Someone mess, sent me something right before we went online and said something about is someone turning Forky's into a bingo hall? So that I, I, I'm not, I'm iffy on. I don't know. I have to have more input on that. Hello, Cindy Cook. So those are th those are three biggies right there taken care of. The fireworks are on the 4th, and they're at the city park. They're on the 4th at the city park. There's a parade in the morning of the 4th. It's not at the city park. It's on Jefferson and Sycamore. And then the fireworks are on the 4th at the city park. I'm going to repeat that. What's up, Mr. Heimer? I'm going to repeat that now a few times because I guarantee between now and the 4th, on my page, I will get asked, hey, when, what day are the fireworks? They're on the 4th at the city park. 4th at the city park. Halloween. Trick or treat is on Halloween. <laughs> These are questions we get asked daily. Literally daily. So we got those three out of the way. Now, Forky's, I don't know. I don't know. Someone was saying something about a bingo hall. That's above my pay grade. Anybody got any rumors on that? My collar's messed up. <laughs> she's, she's having fun with this, but she knows. 
she, she that's my niece she knows she knows the questions i get um probably right at dark on the fourth at dark at the city park just right A trick or treat in this town has always been on Halloween, I think, but one night, one time. <clears throat> on the fourth, Kristen. On the fourth, at dark. The fourth. May the fourth be with you. That's the tongue twister. Taco truck. I've already got people texting me. Oh, you're not going to be able to do that. You can't. Uh, you can't do that. You cannot do that. You're going to have to have codes and... Hello, Tess. I, I know. On your food truck, so I truck for sale, Kevin. What, well, be a little less vague. Tell me, give me a little info. Post the link, or is it on buyfoodtruckshere.com? What, do, I'm interested, and I'm having fun with it. But, I mean, catching hate mail over it? Come on. Y'all need to lighten up some. Jeez Louise. Hello, Tracy. I understand there's laws and regulations. I'm I'm not I'm not gonna go break the law. I'm not gonna risk it. Hello, Connie. I'm not gonna do anything stupid. I would set it up properly. But we're gonna I'll make small tacos. I love who that's the that's that's the highly that's the type of people that keep me going 100 percent I'll make small taco shaped cakes no hate salsa there you go hello Shane don't give up on your dream it's not really a dream it's just something that I was laying it I'm chubby it's 10 o'clock at night I wanted something to eat I was like, wouldn't it be nice if we just could call someone and say, hey, taco guy, are you in the neighborhood? Yeah, I'm right down here on Jackson. Bring me over a couple dozen. I'll always support you. Thank you. <laughs> taco wagon makes more sense. Billy driving. Dude, Kristen, that is money. Riding more while he pulls. <laughs> No, no. The food's got to be. The food has to be prepared. My point. Just do it. Um, hello, Christine. Hello, Betty. Hello, Jeff. No, the food has to be prepared long before Billy gets involved, because you know he's not going to do it. It, it. Period. So, <laughs> I honestly, what I thought. <clears throat> oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. There's another big one. That's freaking hilarious. Well, I honestly thought, make up a batch, th throw it out there, and see how many buy it, how many like it, what will they pay for it. Figure in the gas, figure in the cost, figure in what you got to do, and go from there. My thing is, if it's 10 o'clock at night and you want a taco, you're probably going to pay a pretty big penny for that taco. A, it's gas money and it's 10 o'clock at night. If I'm driving my tired butt out to deliver tacos to you, it's going to come at a cost. Let's be reasonable. Whoa, now Cheryl's talking. If you're looking for food trucks, my cousin's is for sale. This is the beauty of America right here. Right here. This is what we're talking about, Cheryl. This, by God, porch time tacos. Wilson's, Wilson is not naming the tacos. Oh, this is this is what I love. Twelve of them for ten bucks. Ah, mmm. That's mmm. That's uh, that's less than a dollar a taco. What do they cost at Taco Bell? I don't even know. I don't go there. I, if I go there, I'm going there for my kids. Oh, speaking of which, Logan will be in here tomorrow night to talk about her new business venture here in town. It's a business. 
she is family. I'm going to let her be on the air. So, hey. Whoa, 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 whoa. Well, you do have your clothes. I know. <laughs> you do live. I can meet you at Biscuit Junction. How about that? Hello, I... Wait a minute. Y'all going way too fast. Hello, I live far out... I gotta get, I gotta get my bifocals. Hello, Robert. Hello, I live far out for the truck to come this way, but it's good tacos. So I'll hunt you down. There you go, Coney. I can text you to, for a number to call. It's a nice one, not drive, not drivable. I have to have... Well, that's... Hmm. That's, uh... Joe's, Joe's, Joe and me are connecting here. Hello, Lori. Thank you, Cheryl. Joe and me are connecting on the right page. You got to make a buck. I mean, that's what it's about. You're going to, if, if I don't, if, if we don't deliver, and we're delivering too, if we don't bring them to you, 149 for a soft taco, and that's your gas and your time driving there to get their food. Okay, Cheryl. So, if you'd pay one forty nine for a taco at Taco Bell, uh, I don't think they did last year, but I think Rona stopped all that for a while. Yeah, two thirty nine for Supreme, and you're paying. You're going there, burning your gas. Hello, Pam. So I can't say they're not doing it anymore, Kristen. We'll have to see this summer. But we all love the ice cream, man. You, so I saw on TikTok one of the best things ever that the dad said, told the kid when they were little, they played the music when they were out of ice cream. <laughs> so nobody would go out. <clears throat> they only played the music. Teresa, I know, but I would... I, I'm not having other people come in. I got family and porch time people out the butt that would gladly help. But to make it done, to, to do it right, save money, make money, it's only going to be one or two people at at the most. That's the, yeah, I mean, I'm not going to ask them to do it for free, but I can get by not paying my family much. You know what I'm saying? Family free. Exactly. 100%. Who knows where that meets from? What's up, James? Next Saturday. We'll get back to Taco Truck. Keep those thoughts. Trace Atkins, Diamond Rio, Lone Star, Big Country, and the lovely Rose O'Neill. It, it cannot get much better than that. Unless you're bringing in George Strait with that lineup or... I don't even know who's hot now. I don't... Country music now. Rooster meat. <laughs> hey. You know how early I gotta get up in the morning? Hey, I don't... Jason, I do not have those yet. Yet. I do not have those. I And I have not really even talked to Beth. And I'm not... I'm not blowing your smoke there. When I get them, you'll be the first to know. Nobody wants to talk about Trace Atkins. He's a week away, and we want to talk about rooster meat, how handsome I am, and a taco truck. <laughs> I'm sure she has them, Jason. I've just not communicated. I've not had she She's out at the concert tonight, but we will get them to you. I promise you. Uh, I don't have any, Teresa. It's Bethany works with Rob, so you got to go through Rob's group. Or order them on CBK and, and things like that. Now, the people that sold them during the during the um, thing we had last weekend, they were selling. They're big. They're big sponsors, and they have tickets they can sell. And that's how Angie and them were, and Tanya were doing it. I don't drink pop hardly at all anymore, but I felt like a diet coke. Jamie, thank you so much. Um. Connie's daughter won, and I cannot think of her first name. Um, <laughs> hang on, Corey. I'll get to that. Uh, it's always a good deal. The only thing next year, we can't have music because it kept kicking me off. Um, 
Uh, you you can have music. I'll just have to figure something out. Don't I'm not trying to tell you how to run the show. But I always I can't remember who who got um the princess. Believe me, I've my brain is loaded with stuff today. Corey already was yelling at me, telling me to stop. I enjoyed it, Jamie. You're doing a wonderful job there, young lady. Keep it up. We're gonna get to those buttons. Me. <laughs> hey, I'm with you, Big D. We're gonna we're gonna get to the taco truck. Hang on. Alyssa Adder won the queen. She's our Morgan County queen. And um, was it with the crone girl? Did she win the princess? Out of the golf tournament yesterday, my putter was on fire. I was Tiger Woods-esque. I completely stunk. Short game. I was driving the ball well. Fallen Conway. I'm sorry. There you go. There you go. Thank you, Jamie. Um, I was driving the ball well, but my putter, Macy Crone. Thank you. I knew she was in there somewhere. Macy Crone Princess. Yes. Macy uh, Fallen One could miss another thing. There's Tracy Mesmer. But my putter was insane. Corey will back it up. I was hitting 50 foot putts. My eyes closed. A fireball. Hats off to Kimmy Turley, Angie Turley. Fallen Conway was first run up to Princess, right? Thank you. Kimmy Turley, Angie Turley, and Christy Woods. Dude. Hey, El Paso is one of my favorite songs. Can you sing that? Conway was also congeniality. That's what I thought. What's up, Thomas? I'll wear a poncho. You'll be Poncho Villa. And I'm lefty and Poncho. <laughs> Danielle, it was insane. Ask Corey. The more fireball I had, the better my putts were. And the last putt on the last hole was probably a 15-footer. that, And I was the last one to go in our group, and I sank it. And they wanted to kill me. I need to hear that one, James. I, I grew up listening to that one. My dad used to, make, or used to play that all the time. But hats off to Coach Duggar and the Artesian Booster Club yesterday. Phenomenal event. Sam had the course looking amazing. It was a perfect day. There was no sun. The cloud cover kept the heat off of us. Just a little shower about halfway through. It was a magnificent day for golf, and I am horrible, and we loved it. Hello, Texas. How you doing, Wynette? Someone works Kristen Schiff next week so she can attend the concert. Does it have to be a dispatch employee, or can we just plug somebody in? I know he Marty Robbins was the best. Texas, how hot's it down there getting this week? It's going to be like a hundred here this week. We're going to have sweat in areas we shouldn't, and everybody's going to call dispatch complaining about the heat. Got to get you in here and sing some of that. Taco truck. Howdy. She even she even comes in speaking Texan. Howdy. Taco truck. We we go simple with tacos. We go soft and hard. Hard shell. And we go minimal fixings. Some lettuce. Some jalapenos. Maybe a little salsa. A little onion. That's it. And maybe some hot sauce, mild sauce. Started out slow and simple. 10 o'clock at night. It's supposed to be hot, hot, hot. It's supposed to be like 100 here Tuesday, Wednesday, I think. I couldn't imagine down there. Tacos with fried rooster. No, we're not. Well, you can have chicken tacos, not rooster. Or you could have beef tacos. We season them up good. Well, cheese. Yes, cheese. You season them up good. We like tacos at Baker Township. <laughs> Kevin, I love the tacos. What about the rolling blackouts? Nothing we can do about that. Nothing, absolutely nothing, Ken. Well, the election's coming up. Let's just put it that way. 
unfortunately. We can contact our RMC people and say, hey, what's up? Um, <laughs> we'll, get, we'll get them out. If, if I'm telling you, if we do this the first weekend, we'll make sure we get every... Corey's got a food truck. Corey, where'd you get the food truck? Possibly. Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. I've seen guac. We'll get to that. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Possibility. Yeah, I saw that, Kenny. It's uh, Kylie. Let's talk about how it's going to be next week and that people need to keep their animals inside and make sure. I agree with that 100%. 100%. Um, simple, hard shell, lettuce, cheese, salsa, and guac. Guac is 50 cents more. Um, we got to figure the price out because our gas, our time, it's 10 o'clock at night on a Saturday. You start ordering, you start texting between 6 to 8, 8 o'clock, the orders start going out. Once we hit <clears throat> whatever we make, 50 tacos, 100 tacos, whatever it is, once that's gone, it's gone for the day. We do it again Saturday night. Once that's gone, it's gone. And I imagine you're going to sell 3 to 1 ratio beef to chicken. And you're going to sell the same probably hard shell to soft shell. I'm, I'm in on this. I like the idea. That kid laying in bed on a Friday night and was like, tacos? I didn't feel like getting them going to Taco Bell. Get the taco guys out. Text him. Are you guys still delivering tacos? Mm-hmm. 11 o'clock at night, five bucks. One taco. A food trip. I was thinking the whole combo, CB. What's up, Steve and Evelyn? I'm not, I'm, I see my rogue can't pull a trailer. So it's, it's, unless we're going to anchor it to the back of my rogue. Th that's, Joe, that's right uh, I didn't want to announce that because I'm already catching ordinance questions and things like that. And I'm like, I know. Yeah, true that. <laughs> exactly, Dallas. Exactly. I'm out there delivering tacos. At... If I'm out there delivering tacos at 10 o'clock at night, my dime, my gas, my money, my food. It's going to come at a price. I have to get up at 4 a.m. Then you'll get, you'll get the early morning breakfast tacos. <laughs> uh, I get up at 3. It'll be okay. There you go. There you go. There is no time limit on tacos. The only other thing you could do is a pancake truck because we could eat pancakes and bacon 24-7. I thought tacos are easier. I've seen it, CB. Cheryl was on here a little bit ago saying something about it. It's a blind demand. Tell him, Dallas. Breakfast tacos. Some egg. Corey made them. Corey cooked three pounds of bacon in less than 30 minutes out here on the Blackstone. 30 sub eggs. And and those were phenomenal. So the breakfast idea is not out of the question at all. But chubby people like to eat late at night. Bad habit number one, eating late at night right before bed. We like that. Here we go. My break's over. Enjoy your Saturday night. Remember, fireworks are on the 5th. Stop it. <laughs> no, Kristen. The fireworks are on the fourth at dark. There is no bingo at Forky's yet. Uh, hey, we are. We made some good. Yes, we did. CB. Thank you, Susan. Susan loved them. Hello, Sherry. What's up, Bill? So the bra <laughs> Kristen. God bless our our uh, dispatch people. 
<laughs> yeah, that might be underselling them too, James. I'm telling you, we could have fun with it. I just, I got to watch out for the, uh... oh, Sherry, how you doing, dear? Got to watch out for the people that are already sending me love mail about, thank you, Teresa, about what we're trying to accomplish. And I'm like, now it's, now it's a principal thing. I'm going to do it. Yeah. I'm gonna I'm gonna do it just for the principle of it. I'm gonna figure something out. Okay, like Chris said, I don't care if Billy has to tote me around on a bike with me in the back in the George Foreman grill. We're gonna figure something out. <laughs> uh Oh, that's freaking hilarious. I'm cooking. I'm cooking this bacon with no shirt on and getting smoked with grease. You're paying. Thanks, Bill. Thanks, Mike. Trace hits bingo. It's right on the point, and I let it go in one ear and out the other. It's just sometimes you're like, go, oh, give it a rest, lighten up, have some fun. There's already enough craziness in the world, you know. Let's have some fun. May we ever get the taco truck? Odds are against it, but we may look into it and have some fun with it. I wanted to say again, thank you to Angie Turley, Christy Wood, Kimmy Turley. This is just, a, I got six of these little dudes now in shot glasses. Golf balls, shot glasses, the Arctic cooler, a flask, candy. They did a wonderful job out there at that golf tournament. Hey, Dallas, love you too, man. Hey, you're going to be there Saturday, right? Saturday on security. Stop over there. I know you will. I'll see you out there. God bless our LEOs, county and city, state. Good, Good dudes. Good dudes. We'll have fun with the taco truck. It might be taco truck brought to you by Fathom Real Estate. It might be Hudson Community Taco Truck. It, it might be Porch Time Taco Truck. Who knows? It might not have anything on it. If it ever happens. But we're going to look into it. And if they keep razzing me, we'll make it happen somehow. If I have to, if I have to build me a Fred Flintstone will build out here and run it by feet power. They have forgotten how to laugh. Teresa, you're right. A, a lot of people have, and that's that's really sad. There's, life is way too short. And I haven't even got to strawberry jam yet. Not even got to strawberry jam yet. We got to get verde sauce though, because I'm a verde fan. I like verde. And I want those greasy tacos. I want those. Greasy tacos that drip through the whatever taco you have. I make a mean salsa. Jennifer Plummer won, and I owe her a shirt still. The best salsa in the county contest that we had. Jennifer Plummer. I'm telling you. She'll argue. She'll put her salsa up against you, Teresa. I want one of those. I want those greasy tacos that you know she can bake. Try. <laughs> That's so good. I know. I want the greasiest tacos you got that you know you're gonna have to take tums. Hey, all bets are on those tacos are 100% keto friendly. You were in the hot seat. You're on the IR, IR injured reserve. So that's that's just it. I see a challenge coming up. They are 100% keto. I know, Wendy. Greasier the better. 
we we want greasy tacos that drip right through it. Why as well? Corn corn tortillas keto friendly. Whoa, game changer. Are they? Well, we <laughs> Kylie. What do you think of that? Lies. I just want the grease to drip through it. Uh, you got to have a container. And you'd be like, wow, these are greasy. What was the best burger you had growing up as a kid? It was the greasiest, nastiest, drippingest burger you ever had. I'm oh, sorry, gluten free. Mm. Sorry, Kylie. I was going to say. So that's the kind of taco you want. You want the drippingest, greasiest, nastiest taco you can get. Lots of cheese, some guac maybe, some sour cream, maybe black olives. Gluten free. <laughs> She's gonna rip me here. Maybe some jalapenos, maybe some black olives. Some verde sauce. Ta-da! Get four or five of them babies in you at 10 o'clock at night. You're good till morning. I could stand outside one of these bars in the truck and, and load up. I'm sure I'm making somebody mad by... Two big long messages at once here. Pretty good money to find somebody to operate it. Probably so, Bill. My grandkids. The breakfast ring I got from the auction was awesome. My grandkids devoured it. Wasn't that awesome? That breakfast ring looked incredible. The drive in that was in town, um, oh, the actual drive in theater or Yeah, we all need Flint snowmobiles right now, Bill. Yeah, that breakfast ring was unbelievable. Wasn't that the, uh, the Scots that brought that in? What was the drive-in at the end of town? During? The drive-in theater in town over by West is the only one I remember. Oh, you're talking about hamburger joint. Charlie's? Fred's? <clears throat> Yes, Corey's exactly right on that. Are you talking about Fred's? Saturday, next Saturday, Trace Adkins. Lone Star, Diamond Rio, Big Country, Rose O'Neill. It's going to be awesome. I completely love Diamond Rio and Lone Star. Cannot wait to hear them sing in concert. Trace, of course, is amazing. You got Big Country. And, then, of course, the lovely Rose O'Neill. Cannot wait. It's going to be a blast. Show starts at 5 p.m. We're crossing our fingers. Hopefully it's not a thousand degrees. Better yet, hope it's dry. That's what we're hoping for. Dry weather. Dry weather. I am losing video. I'm losing blue losing viewers. Thirty five minutes in. Twelve people. Gonna end it. Tomorrow night, I'm going to have Logan Coriel in here. She is going to be working at Hair Diva here in town. Um, she's relatively new at the hair game. She started. She got her license, went to school. 
She's my youngest. She started over Columbus at Alta, and now she's moving to Bloomington. So she asked about working here, and she talked to a couple places, so she's looking forward to working here in town. 70 and 89 forecast right now for next Saturday. Perfect. Hello, Kimberly. That is perfect. Zero rain for Trace. So, have her in studio tomorrow night. Let her introduce herself, tell you what she can do, and when she starts working. She has a lot of interest. She's already got some people booking dates with her to do her hair. Um, it is, she's talented at what she's, she's the one kid that always did hair on every doll we ever bought them. She never quit. So, that's what she's, that's why she's doing what she's doing. Opening. Oh. Yeah, that's going to be a fun night. I can't wait. Cannot wait. I'm more excited about this one than any of them that we've ever had because I, I'm just, I'm a Lone Star and Diamond Rio fan. Let alone a Rose, Big Country, and Trace fan. That's a hell of a lineup. Had a blast at the golf outing yesterday. Thanks to Coach. Thanks to the Booster Club. Course was magnificent. Sam did an amazing job out there as always. Um, was a blast. And I won uh, from the drawing from uh, Christy Wood and then Angie Turley. I won the Arctic Cooler and I got Liney Kugels and I got wood fur and I got shot glasses and I got a, a, a flask. I got golf balls. We had candy. It's pretty cool, I have to admit. Pretty cool gift. What's up, Seth? So, I know, Teresa, it's such a good lineup. It's, it's going to be a lot of fun. Going to be a lot of fun. Anyway. seems like we're busy and then we're not busy and then all of a sudden we're tired again. Got a lot of stuff coming up. Got a lot of stuff, stuff coming up. <clears throat> There's only 15 people on here, but um, I'm just going to do this like this. And I don't think any of our people, I've not even said this to anybody yet, so it's got to stay between us. I want to turn that website into, I want to turn our website into a source of, of information outside of Facebook, outside of the reporter, outside of CBK. I'm not knocking them, but in my opinion, this is going to be more now. I want to set up where there'll be updates and it's not going to be in depth, but it's going to be like a post. Rec on 37 avoids southbound 37. Um, sell at Wayman's. Um, any information in the city, boom, it gets posted on there. Time and date, boom, and you can go read it. Weather, going to be storming here in an hour, boom. And it's going to be continual and running, and that's going to be an updated thing that few of us that have access to it are going to have be able to put it in there at any given time, any given day. And that's what we're working on. <clears throat> and that is that is going to happen it's just getting it done and getting it set up there will be sponsors yes it's sharing that's exactly what we want it's going to be quick hitters there's going to be sponsors we will have a blog but this has got to be done and it's going to be very simple there's not going to be a lot of um it's not going to be a lot of in-depth thing. We can throw scores on there. We can throw the junior league scores on there. We can get reports from the county, the city, anything of anything of importance. We're going to have contacts. We're going to tech have them text us or message them, and they're going to give us the information, and we're going to post it. It's all public information, inf inf public information anyway. Not we're not looking to find out stuff we shouldn't, but it's going to be quick hitting stuff. Boom, it's there. And if you if you first. First thing you want to know something's going on, boom, you go to that site and there it is. 
that's what we're looking to do. And that's what we're going to do. So this is coming. This is the new, this, we're not the first to think of this across the country. This is the way things are going towards newspapers have been going away for about 10 years now. I used to first thing in the morning at work every day is to sit down and do the crossword puzzle. I haven't done a crossword puzzle on a newspaper in at least 10 years. I don't even buy a newspaper anymore. I used to buy newspapers specifically for crossword puzzles just to do them. I know that sounds silly, but thank you, Sherry. But that's the direction we're going. So thank you so much for the stars. That That is going to happen. It's just a matter of time of getting it done. And I cannot wait because I think that's a vital need in our city. And I think so many people are online and so many people get their information through their phone or their computer or their Apple Watch, whatever they're using. And now you'll be able to go to a site, boom, and it's going to tell you exactly what's going on in our city, why and where. Say, hey, what? Boil order, boom. Hey, street shutdown, boom. Hey, traffic incident on southbound 69, boom. Hey, the scores last night, the, the baseball games, the Royal Orioles here in town, or junior league football or high school games. That's what we're working towards. We want to be able to provide that to the community in a quick hitter, quick fix, done deal. And that's what we want. Hello, Shelly. And we're working towards that. It's gonna it's separate from this, but it's attached to porch time. I don't know how long they're gonna allow us to do this. I say one wrong word and they're gonna toss me out for good. So I have we have to have other things in place, and that is one of them that I want, and, and we're all working towards that, and hopefully that's gonna be here sooner rather than later. Corey and them, they know. They, they, those guys know we're, we're working towards that. Just getting it done. I know, Sherry. I agree. Raining in Mooresville. Well. Y'all got a big storm, Shelly. See? I could be on there. Decent sized storm. Northern Morgan County, Mooresville, Monrovia area. Mooresville, Monrovia, and the twin cities of Brooklyn and Centerton. Boom. Paste it and put it in there. Done deal. Maybe have a tab to a radar. Done deal. Piece of cake. Sponsored by Fathom Real Estate or looking for other business people on our what else we got? American Basement Solutions. RD Productions. I'm just saying. I would just you you walked right in the middle of a conversation, Shelly. Setting up our web page. Exactly. Well, your local news doesn't come from here anymore. It comes from everywhere else but here because the paper isn't produced here. So <clears throat> we're going to take try to take part of that, bring some part of that back. I'm not competing with anybody else as far as other no- media sources, because I think there's value in all of them. But I think we can provide something different. Uh, it's just t- example. I hear a little thunder. Example. Let's check, let's check the radar. And I'll give you an example of what we do different and what our capabilities are. Yeah, we got a good one. Got a doozy. I like how that sounds. Hang, hang on one second. Yeah, it's north and west of us. Probably going to drift down on us. Um, get out of this and come back. Hang on, guys. Hang. Here we are. Um, I joked about this online today. Yesterday, we were at a golf outing where we go live from Martinsville Golf Course live from an event out there that we were involved in. Today, we go live from a queen pageant here in town. And then now tonight, we're live once again 
discussing fun stuff and serious stuff. That not too many groups in town can do that. But we all have our spots and we all have value. And we're we're going to push the envelope and try to really step up our game on that on the computer. And once that website is done, it's going to be hot. It's going to be sponsor filled, and we're looking forward to that. And if I get enough sponsors, and I can do taco truck as my job, we'll sell some tacos. Ah, uh, you guys are the best. I love this town. I love the people in it. As bad as I want to move south out of here in the winter, y'all keep me here. <clears throat> this is home. Enjoy the rest of your Saturday night. We might get a little stormy storm here in a minute. I might pop on here in the morning um, just for the fun of it. But tomorrow night I'll be on with Logan. <laughs> now I'm going to have to sample. I'm going to have to sample these first. I mean, what's up, Tim? Hello, Ebony. How are you, dear? It's pouring rain in Wilbur. Yeah, y'all are right on the edge of it out there. You know, I was born right there in that area, a quarter mile west of Wilbur Store. I'm just saying. Right there. Right there in that area. I'm going to have to sample them, deal. There's Ruth Oaks. How you doing, sweetie? The lovely Ruth Oaks. Hope her and Gary are having a wonderful Saturday evening. God bless you, Mike. Wait, whoa, whoa. Whoa, whoa, what? My friend, what? My friend Michelle Walls just bought a taco truck. Maybe I can talk to her about coming. She just bought a taco truck? Are they going to be doing this? Somebody's already. You too, Bill. God bless you and have a good night. No, no, she's taking my business. I'm, I've already got competition. I'm not even up and running. No, we're going to ban taco trucks now. I'm going to fight to ban taco trucks. <clears throat> hey, you know what? If somebody jumps, somebody jumps, jumps ahead of me and gets one going and pulls it off. More power to him. Good luck to him. the beauty of the, the beauty of the uh, <clears throat> of this country freedom love you guys stay safe might be might be on tomorrow morning might not might sleep in tomorrow's good sleeping day for me sleep in 7 30 ish before our coffee call see you guys later love you thank you so much no competition